Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking apart this George Foreman. It's a, a family size grill. I'm going to be taking it apart, see how it works, see what makes it tick. Because I always wanted to take one of these apart, and it just feels like today's the day to do it. So I'm going to take it apart. All right, so first I'm going to take these. This plate off. This plate. And the bottom plate. Take this one off. And as soon as I take these plates, you can see it's just a plate. It looks like a heated plate. What I'm thinking I'm gonna find in here is heating coils, both top and bottom. The that uses the temperature at the same time. That's what I think I'm gonna find, but I'm going to take it apart so you guys can see what exactly is in it. I have an idea, but let's get started with the old trusty Phillips head screwdriver as always. Okay. Okay, almost done with this bad one here. Wait, it looks like there's a, oh, yeah, there's a, there's special screws on here. I didn't notice it earlier, but now I do. They have special lock, special bit screws on here. Try to keep you from getting in. Now, I have all kinds of bits, so that won't be a problem for me, but I wonder why they want to keep me out. Don't they want you to try to fix your device? No, they don't want you to try to fix your device? Hmm. Oh well. And here's the bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think I'm going to use my screwdriver versions. this here I believe this is a was this a 10 I think it was a 10 yes this is a number 10 yep it's a number 10 guys but this is the set I use it's a 64 bit driver kit They think they can keep me out, but they can't. They can never keep me out. If I want to get in, I'm going to get in. Yep, it's just like I thought, guys. This is a metal coil, it coils around, and it's just a heating coil that heats the plate up to a certain temperature. And then it has, this is like a safety switch here. And it won't engage when you when you close it it'll engage this and this will open up power that goes through your unit here if that's not down it won't send power through the unit so that it won't come on so this is a safety switch here when it's engaged power goes through yeah that's what I suspected guys it's just a heating element that goes all the way through nothing fancy I don't see any control boards in here yet so 
I don't think I will, but if I, if there's any, it'll be up here in the top top unit here. Controller will probably be up here. get these screws up here because that's what I'm what I'm after I'm after a control unit sorry about the angle of this guys I don't think you guys can see this but I'm just taking off a few screws so Off. Here it is, guys, and it's all its glory. It's just a metal coil goes around. Got two wires coming to it here, which are usually positive and negative, and provides the power for this coil that heats up to a certain temperature, whatever you put on here. And uh, the can label. I know it's it's up here. It's up here. So I'm gonna unscrew it. There's two screws holding it together. You guys can let me try to get a shot of it before I take it apart. Right up in the top here is a control unit, right in the top case. So, take it take it off here. So we can get a good look at it. screwed it and you guys can see all the LEDs for the temperature control and the LEDs for the your timing and your um, temperature this what these two are for now I can get this stupid piece of plastic out of my way here there we go that off. You can see the little speaker right here for when you set the time to beep. Time, temperature, whatever it'll beep. And there's not a lot going on on here on this board. I expected more. But it has an integrated circuit right here as you guys can see. I can't see the the company here so small it's very hard to tell what company makes this integrated circuit but right here then you have your multi-layered transistors all over the place and I believe is a resistor over here if you guys can see that I can barely see this stuff but yeah, that's about it on here guys on this main board control board. That's it. This little integrated circuit right here controls everything. 
This little bad boy here. Well, that's it, guys. I hope this was a helpful video for you to see all the parts that make up this George Foreman. And as always, I thank you for watching my videos. And if you liked or you don't like, thumbs up, thumbs down. Just let me know what you're feeling about the video. And as always, thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye. <laughs>